Hello and uh, welcome to this Brown Lab webinar. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, today I will show you our new range of sensor tabs uh, and I hope that you like it and that you find it could be interesting for all your countries. So thanks for stopping by and now I'll show you the presentation of our sensor tab. So just a little bit uh, about this uh, webinar, how it works. So we are not able to see or hear what you say. Any questions uh, I'll answer after the webinar, but please feel free to uh, submit any uh, question uh, during the presentation. Um, if you're having any trouble with the, the audio, try switching to phone line or rejoin the meeting. So. What is a sensor tab and what does it give you? Well, the fact that you don't have any handles to touch, that you don't need to move any parts, just put your hands under the sensor. It actually gives you that big advantage that you reduce the bacteria spread with 98%. And that's according to a survey made by the Wanda Nordic Water and Materials Institute. It gives you a really a big opportunity to reduce uh, the risk of spreading virus in schools, laboratories, pharmaceutical places or industry. This is an example of uh, installation in a laboratory. This is a version with a temperature regulation in the table. Uh, it's correct that you touch the handle to regulate the temperature, but since you afterwards uh, wash your hands under the sensor tab, the, the hands are clean again. This is the three basic designs of our taps. The first one is the fixed spout bench mounted basin spout. Uh, it's a, a fixture designed for like a sink or uh, in a small uh, toilet. Number two is our a standard bench mounted with a standard spout. It has uh, the ability also to have 110 degree swivel limitation or it could be fully fixed. The third version is our wall mounted standard spout. It's the same as the, uh, the bench mounted with a 110 degree swivel limitation, or it could be fully fixed. All of them comes in also three varieties. The first variety here is with a fixed temperature. Uh, that means that this has no temperature regulation, but it could be supplied with either cold water hot water or tempered water. The second version is with the handle with the temperature regulator. It's put in the in the fumet or in a table and you can regulate the temperature uh, with your hand and then afterwards wash your hands. So still all bacteria are gone. They all come uh, as a complete set with complete hoses, solenoid valves, batteries or with electrical plug. The version you see here is with a thermostatic mixing valve. It supplies as a standard 37 degrees uh, water, but it can be regulated by removing uh, the uh, gray cap on the right side. Again, it comes fully supplied with all hoses, solenoid valves uh, and the wall bracket. The powering, it can either be with a battery, which is the standard version, but it can also be supplied with a plug for electrical uh, systems. It means also that if you choose a version with battery and then you afterwards regret it and instead once with electrical plug, you can actually easily change it without having to remove the uh, tap. Just simply take out the battery and put in the electrical plug and you're up running. Also as a, as a accessory, you can have the battery box that could be fixed on the wall or the table. Our complete host system uh, is a range of a variety of many uh, different um, hoses, which gives you uh, a lot of varieties in the way that you can plug it in. So there's a half inch nut, there's 10 millimeter, 15 millimeter, or even 12 millimeter. 
And should you need anything else, please just uh, give me a call or mail and I'll see if I can get it. So another great advantage is that we can actually give you a big variety of colors. So you can either choose your own color or it can come as a standard color. The standard color is the one that you see on this slide. But if you prefer something else, maybe red, yellow or even gold, we can supply for you. This version is uh, with a chrome, uh, satin chrome surface. Next one is an example of a tab where it's colored black. But it's just up to your imagination. Just let us know what color you need and you'll get it. So most uh, sensor tabs that you see on the market today are chrome plated. Chrome is not a very good uh, surface in a, for instance, laboratory environment or in a public environment, in a public toilet or schools. We made a test uh, together with the Danish Technological Institute. You can see it here on this slide. It's a comparison between polyester, epoxy and chrome plating. And the first column, you can see the panel uh, test with polyester coating, which shows a great uh, significant advantage against the chrome plated and epoxy. Please feel free if you want this test uh, and I can send it for you. So what else can we do for you? Well, if you need some uh, special files like step file, BIM file, DVG file, then just let us know and we can send it for actually all our products, but especially here for the sensor tabs. Also, if you need some special specification text, uh, you need a PDF, 3D PDF, just let us know and we can do it for you. So where can you find information about our tabs and all our other products? Well, please go on the uh, brawn-lab.com and you'll find all the information needed. Should that not be sufficient, just let me know. Give me a call or mail and I'll help you. Here's just a small presentation Hi, on how the, the work works. To find specifications and BIM files directly on our webpage. On brownlab.com, please go to the product section. Here you can choose either laboratory or emergency showers. Today I'm going to go with tabs. On the tabs page, you can read more about the tabs, but I'll go on to our most common configurations. On this page, you can, if you're, for instance, an architect, download general product specifications that you can put directly into your project specification. You can also go down and find the tab section. Here, you can find a specification drawing, which will show you the measurement of the project, the product number, and all the general specifications you need. Or you can find a BIM file of the product. We're working right now on putting as well DVD files and step files on the web page. To download a file quickly, press the button, type in your name, your email, and your company. And press get drawn files. It will take about 30 minutes to get the files in your inbox. If you need other files that you cannot find on this web page, please contact us directly at lab at rowan-lab.com. Thank you for watching. So that was just a small introduction to our website. And uh, just for now, thanks a lot for stopping by this uh, webinar. I hope you got some information that you could use. Please feel free to send us questions, to call me uh, if you have anything that you think uh, could be interesting to hear more about. I hope to be back uh, in some weeks or months uh, with a new seminar about other issues. So thanks a lot for stopping by. I have questions. Yes. Can you deliver a different color? We can deliver in all uh, colors that's uh, actually in our color scale. You can see here, this is just two examples. This is our standard. This is what looks like a chrome. It's a satin chrome surface. But 
I have a lot of other varieties, like if you want gold plated or black or red, or if you have something color that fits in your laboratory or in your school or whatever, then just let us know and we can do it for you. Then what about chrome? Um, chrome is, I sh showed the last um, on, on the test from the Danish Technological Institute, it's not a really strong surface. So we prefer to supply in a polyester coating because we know that's a lot stronger in a laboratory or in schools or in public places. Uh, can the sensor be adjusted in relation to flush time? Uh, yes, it can. It can be supplied with a small uh, um, remote control, so you can actually adjust uh, things like the flow rate, the uh, how long the uh, after run time is. Uh, also here, maybe you can see in this spout that it's this is a 150 millimeter spout. So when the sensor tab is uh, mounted and put into electrical systems. Uh, when it's uh, activated, it will measure automatically how far it is uh, to the water and it adjusts so it fits just uh, at, at your place and at the current length of the spout. What is the lifetime of the battery? <clears throat> yes, good question. Uh, the lifetime is about four to five years. It of course depends on how many uh, activations you have uh, every day but it's it's really long time lasting. If you think that's not very funny to change the battery every four year, then you can use it with a electrical uh, plug for 230 volt. How do you adjust the length of the reaction of the sensor? Uh, that needs to be uh, determined from the beginning. So we can do it here from the factory or you can buy a small uh, remote and you can do it on site. Is the price the same for the battery and for the adapter? It's it's pretty close to the same, yes. It's not a big difference. Can you tell us a little more about the sensor on the sensor tab? Well, the, the sensor here is a, um, a sensor that's made especially for lab use and for use in, in harsh environments. So it's, it's a very uh, tough sensor and it lasts for a long time, but it's still a very known uh, technology. So we know it, it will work uh, every time it should work. If the sensor is damaged, then how is it about replacing? Is that a possibility? It needs to be done on the factory. So it's not easy to do it on site. Uh, it will be done uh, normally, but it's very rare that it would be damaged. It's only if a uh, few uh, uh, on incident that could happen. So normally it's not a big problem. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to get it to automatically flush after a, a certain time? Uh, it will actually f uh, flush like it has a built in flush uh, that makes it possible to avoid having a build up of uh, bacteria like a Legionella. So it will automatically flush when it has not been used for 72 hours. So if it's in a, like a school that's on a public holiday, it will flush every 72 hours. Then maybe once again, could you tell us a little bit more about the swimmel, swivel limitation? Yes, that would be very uh, happy to do that. So this version is with a fixed spout. Uh, so that could be very handsome in a, in a sink so it doesn't run out uh, on the floor. This version is for use in a, in a bigger um, a place where you have the possibility to adjust it like 110 degrees, but it cannot come further out. It could also be supplied as fully uh, fixed or as a fully swivel that goes all 360 degrees around. I think that's it. Good. Thanks a lot again for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it and that you got some information you could uh, use. So thanks a lot for this and uh, see you later.